Hello everyone, I welcome you all in the sixth lecture on topic simple and compound interest. Now, this happens to be the last lecture on this topic as far as uh, the discussion of types are concerned. But in coming days, I am also planning to upload practice sessions on the topic as I complete them. So, in today's lecture, I will be discussing two more important types. Uh, if you get confused with what type means, simply putting forward type means standard problems which have been asked frequently in aptitude examinations. Now, without further ado, Let's dive into the lecture. So let us begin with a new type. Let's read the question. The population of a city grows at a rate of 5% per annum. If in 2006 its population is 18,52,200, what was its population in 2004? So let me first write down the data which we are given with. I know the population of the city for year 2006. It was 18,52,200. 200. It is current population and we have to find the population of the same city in year 2004. What was its population in 2004? So can I say that it's a gap of two years from 2004 to 2005 and then from 2005 to 2006 it's a gap of two years and since the population of the city is growing at 5% per annum so can I indicate the same in this manner? that the population will grow by 5%. It means the population will increase by 5% after every year. And what we want to calculate, we want to calculate this value. Let's call this x. What was the population in year 2004? So I can do it very comfortably, you know. I want to calculate the value of x. And I know that if I increase x by 5% twice, it will be 18,52,200. Since changes are happening one after another, so I can apply the concept of successive percentage change. So let me use multiplication factors here. That way I would be able to get my answer in no time. So my base value is x. And then I can see that I have to increase the population by 5%. So the operation is increase number by 5%. If I increase something by 5%, multiplication factor would be 105 by 100. Since next year also, the population will increase by 5%. So again, multiplication factor would be same, 105 by 100. And after performing these two operations, after increasing the population twice by 5%, it will become 18,52,200. Now simply solve this expression, you would be able to find out the answer of your question. Okay, to find out the value of x, let me first simplify these two. So 5 times 21, 5 times 20. Again, I'll get the same numbers, 21 and 20 times. Okay, so Let's calculate the value of x now. So 18,52,200. And now if I take these values, 21 upon 20, to the other side, uh, it has to be inversed. Let us multiply this by writing them in the inverse manner, 20 upon 21. And again, 20 upon 21. Uh, now, since I'm calculating the answer for population, and it is but obvious that the answer of population can never be in terms of decimal. So it means this value will be completely divisible by these denominator numbers. Let us try uh, cancelling these numbers without thinking much. So 3, 7, 21, 3, 6, 18, 3, 1, 3, 3, 7, 21, 3, 4, 12, and double zero. Okay, let me cancel with using 7, 7, 1, 7, 8, 56, then 7, 8, 56, 7, 2, 14, and double zero. Uh, 3, 7, 3, 2, 6, 3, 9, 27, 3, 4, 12 and double zero. And let me cancel it finally with 7. So 7, 4, 28, this would be 4,200. Now all you need to do is, you need to multiply this number 4,200 with 2020 is 400 and you will get your answer. So simply put three zeros and then multiply 4, 2, 8 and 4, 4, 16. So 16 lakh 80,000 would be the answer of my question, which is uh, option 5. So option 5 is the correct answer. Now, another thing which I want you to understand in this particular question is uh, the same question can be answered using the formula of CI as compound interest is an application of successive. So, I could have answered the same question using the formula of CI. First, write down the formula which we use for the calculation of compound interest. Amount equals to P 1 plus R by 100 to the power N. What I'm trying to calculate? I'm trying to calculate the base value. So in our formula, base value is principal. So let me write x in place of principal. 1 plus 
what is the rate at what rate the population is growing 5% per annum and the time duration is 2 years so the value of n would be 2 here and after doing so the population will change to 18 lakh so amount is actually the final value so write 18 lakh 52200 in place of amount and when you solve this again you would realize that you will get the same answer so when you solve it for x the answer of your question will again be 16 lakh 80,000. So this is another important fact which I want you to note down. What I'm trying to tell you that you can answer such question directly by using multiplication factor or you can use the formula of CI, the CI formula. Both the approaches will work in the same manner. So it's up to you which approach you want to use at the time of examination. Whatever suits you, use it and get your answer. Okay, let me show you one more question based on the same type. I bought a Swift Desire two years back. Its value depreciated by 9% every year. If at present its value is rupees 9,10,910, at what cost had I bought it? So let me first show you what data we are given with. At present, so let me assume present year is 2010. At present, the value of this car is 9,10,910. And I want to find out its value when I had bought it. I bought it two years back. It means I want to find out the value of car in year 2008. So I want to find out this value. Let me call it X again. Now, if you want to go from 2008 to 2010, you will say, sir, there is one more year which will come in between. So how many years are there? You would say, sir, two years. So can you treat these two years as two compounding periods? You would say, why not? And since this time, the value is being depreciated. Depreciated means whatever you have bought, let's say you have bought an article for rupees 20,000. Its value will go down year by year. Okay. Why? Because it's a liability for you. So whatever is your liability, the value of it will go down by a certain rate. In our case, the depreciation rate is 9%. Guys, please try to understand. Either I can appreciate a value or I can depreciate a value. Appreciate means badana. Depreciate means ghatana. So in our case, we are depreciating the value of car by 9% after every year. So what is the depreciation rate? 9% in each year. So now it's a very simple setup, something which I had seen in the previous question as well. Simply apply a successive percentage change and you can get your answer. Let's use the multiplication factor concept. So I'll start from the base value x and then since I'm getting a depreciation of 9%. Depreciation means I have to reduce a value by 9%. If I reduce this value 9%, so I'll reduce 9% from the original value. Original value ko hum hamesha 100% se dikhate hain. So what will be the multiplication factor? 91%. How would you define 91%? 91 by 100. And since this operation is being repeated, so I'll write 91 by 100 one more time. And after the two operations, the value will change to 9,10,910. Simply solve this. 91 times 1, 91. 91 times 10 would be 910. And again, I have a 910. But before that, I have, I have to put a 0 because I have to use two digits. So 91 times 1, 91 and a 0. Okay. Uh, what else? Okay, 91. 91 times 1, 91. Again, 91 times 91 and I'll get a 0. So what is the value of x? It is going to be 110. And then I'll take these denominator values to the other side. So multiply these two hundreds with 110. So how many zeros you will get? You would say, sir, 5 zeros. 5 zeros means lakh. So what is the answer of your question? 11 lakh. So mark an option which says 11 lakh. Option 4 is the correct answer. Now another thing I want you to realize is you could have answered this question by using the CI formula. Let's write down the CI formula first. Amount equals to principal 1 plus R by 100 to the power N. What is going to be the value of principal? The base value. The base value is X. So let me write down X in place of principal. What is the value of rate now? You would say, sir, since we are dealing with depreciation and depreciation is negative in nature, I will write down minus 9 by 100. What is the value of N? There are two compounding periods. So the value of N would be 2. 
and after two compounding period the value will change to 9,10,000 so the value of amount would be 9,10 and 9,10 simply solve this you will get the same expression so this is take the LCM 100 minus 9 by 100 and you would realize that I will get same thing 91 by 100 to the power 2 so can I write it as 91 100 twice yes and then in the left hand side you will get 910 and 910 now if you compare this expression is exactly similar to this one and therefore you will get the same value of x here 11 lakh all right so this is how you can solve the same question using ci formula okay if you have understood this i want to discuss one more type so please listen to it very carefully this is a new type type 5 if the ratio of ci in the 7th and 8th year is 10 is to 11 find the rate of interest being offered now before i discuss the solution of this question to you i want you to recall one concept a concept which we are already aware about now let me take some hypothetical numbers so if i say that principal value is 1000 and rate is 10 percent per annum so agar rate 10 percent hai to kya hoga batao tum bologe sir agar rate 10 percent hai so, mujhe interest milega 10% ka over 1000 that is rupees 100. So, mujhe interest mila first year mein kitna 100 and when I add 100 to 1000, I will get the amount at the end of one year that would be 1100. Now, in case of compound interest, I hope you can recall the value of principal changes after the end of every year. So, for the next compounding period, the new principal value will become 1100. And when I again do the calculation of interest, so again I'll get 10%, but this time I'll get 10% over this value, new value of principal. So it is 10% of 1100, you would say, sir, 110. And again, you will add 110 to 1100 to get the value of amount due at the end of second year, right? So let me call it interest 2. Let's do it for one more cycle. For the next compounding cycle, it is understood now, this is going to be the value of principal. So let's do this calculation for one more cycle. Rate is 10%. This time I'll get 10% of 1210, that is 121. So this is the interest earned in the third year. Let's call it I3. And then the amount due at the end of third year would be 1331. Uh, principal ka value, if I look at principal ka value, kis rate se change ho rahe? Kis rate se bad rahe? You would say, sir, principal ka value 10% ki rate se increase ho rahe. Not only this, even if you look at the values of interest in case of CI, so tumhe samaj mein aayega ki interest ka value bhi 10% se increase ho rahe. Let me write down the three values of interest for you. Interest in the first year was 100. Interest in the second year, 110. In the third year, 121. Simply see by how much the interest is changing. Interest is increasing by 10 over previous interest, 100. And what is 10 by 100? You would say, sir, let's multiply this fraction by 100. Or jab tum ye karoge, you get to know, okay, the rate is 10%. So what I'm trying to tell you, at whatever rate principal changes, by the same rate, the value of interest changes. Okay, so chahe mere ko principal bataya hua consecutive years ka, ya mujhe interest ka values pata hai consecutive years ka main usko dekh ke kya calculate kar sakta hu main rate ka value calculate kar sakta hu now read the setup in the question we are given with compound interest earned in 7th and 8th year in fact we are given with the ratio the comparative values are given so let me write down the data so i am given with compound interest earned in 7th and 8th year the ratio it is 10 is to 11. What this ratio represent? Agar 7th year mein CI 10 tha, to 8th year mein CI kitna hai? 11 hai. Can you see that it is increasing? Aur yehi hota bhi hai. Har consecutive years mein, jaysay mein year by year aage chalta hoon, to compound interest badhte bhe jata hai. Aur wohi mujhe yaha pe dikh raha hai. To jaysay mein 7 se 8th year ko dekhta hoon, so I can see that interest is increasing by 1. What interest? The previous interest 10. And what is 1 by 10 in terms of percentage? You would say it's a 10%. And this is the answer of my question. So if I'm given with CI earned for two consecutive years as in this question, what I can calculate? I can calculate the answer for rate of interest. 
प्लीज रिमेंबर इट ओके लेट एस टू वन थिंग लेट्स ट्राई सॉल्विंग वन मोर क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन द सेम टाइप इट विल गिव यू सम मोर कॉन्फिडेंस ओके रीड द क्वेश्चन एट अ कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट रेट ऑफ टेन परसेंट कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट अर्न इन द एट ईयर इज रुपीज फोर एटी फोर फाइंड द कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट अर्न इन द सिक्स ईयर सो इफ यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द प्रीवियस सेटअप आंसरिंग दिस क्वेश्चन इज अ केक वॉक सो वट वी आर गिवन विद वी आर गिवन विद द कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट compound interest for which particular year compound interest earned in 8 year it is 484 what we want to calculate we want to calculate compound interest earned in the 6th year now i hope you can realize if i want to go from 6th to 8th year i have to cross two years from 6th to 7th and then from 7th to 8th for each compounding period the rate is 10% And you know why I'm so sure about it? Because since nothing is mentioned here, compound interest being calculated uh, half yearly, annually, quarterly, nothing is mentioned here. So it means by default it is being calculated on annual basis. This is something which you should be aware about. So rate is going to be ten percent only for these two compounding periods. So let me write down rate as well. Ten percent is the rate. Since I want to calculate this value, I want to calculate the base value. Let's use the concept of successive percentage change. Let me start from the base value x, and since the operation is, I want to increase number by ten percent twice. So I am going to write one ten by hundred two times, and then the interest earned will change to four eighty four. Simply solve this. Zeros will get cancelled, right? Eleven times forty four four. the value of x would be 400 so this is how easy it is to solve this particular type right so you are going to mark an option which says rupees 400 so with this we have come to the end of another important lecture on topic simple and compound interest and as i have mentioned in the very start it just happens to be the last video as far as uh, type discussions are concerned if you like my work please like the videos it helps us to maintain the visibility in youtube platform Also, if you are someone who is preparing for campus placement, do subscribe the channel. In coming days, you will find more videos uploaded on the remaining topics of aptitude. So, if you are a serious candidate who is looking for one-stop solution for all your aptitude problems, this channel is for you. Do subscribe. Thank you, and have a nice day.